what is up guys it's me mukil and welcome back to my channel the brain poppers the place where you can know it all okay in our last video we discussed about the big bang theory just in case you're not seen that video i've given the link in the description box below you can watch it later okay today we will be talking about another topic called planets 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 what are planets the seemingly simple question does not have a simple answer everyone knows that earth mars and jupiter are planets but pluto and ceres both were once considered planets until new discoveries triggered a scientific debate about how to best describe them a vigorous debate that continues to this day the most recent definition of a planet was adopted by the international astronomical union in 2006 it says a planet must do three things one it must orbit a star two it must be big enough to have enough gravity to force it into a spherical shape 3 it must be big enough that its gravity cleared away any other object of a similar size near its orbit around the sun discussions and debates will continue as our view of cosmos continues to expand types of planets planets can be divided into two types the terrestrial planets which include mercury venus earth and mars and the gas giant planets which include jupiter saturn uranus and neptune terrestrial planets mercury mercury is the closest planet to the sun on an average it is 36 million miles from the sun Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury's orbit around the sun takes just 88 earth days to be completed. So, its year is 1 quarter of the length of earth's. Venus. Venus is the second closest planet to the sun and is a similar size to earth. It is the hottest planet in our solar system. Venus takes 224.7 earth days to complete an orbit around the sun which is really quick however when it comes to turning on its own axis venus is a slow coach it takes a staggering 243 earth days to complete a rotation its day is longer than its year earth Earth lies an average of 92.9 million miles from the sun. That figure equals to one astronomical unit or AU, a unit of measurement used in the solar system. For example, Jupiter is around 5.2 AU from the sun. A planet is seriously on the move, whizzing through the space on its 584 million mile orbit around the sun. As it orbits, Earth also turns on its own axis. It turns to face the sun every 23 hours, 50, 56 minutes and 4 seconds, giving us a day and night. Mars Mars is the second smallest planet in the solar system. It is just over half the size of the Earth. With no seas of liquid water on its surface, it has about as much as land on our planet much of this looks like rocky dusty strewn with craters and plains yet in places mars boasts some of the solar system's most spectacular features a gigantic con- canyon system called the velis marinis a huge volcano and a massive crater Now it is time for the know it all facts on terrestrial planets. Mercury. Mercury can be baking hot on one side and freezing cold on the other. Ha. Huh? 
Venus. Venus is extremely hot with a poisonous atmosphere. Ooh. Mars. Mars is the only planet which is inhabited by man-made robots. Mm -hmm. Gas giant planets. Jupiter. Make no mistake about it, Jupiter is massive. The largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter has a diameter about 88,900 miles across its equator. It is so large that all the other planets put together would total just 40% of Jupiter's mass. For its enormous size, Jupiter rotates about its own axis at seriously high speed about 27,000 miles per hour. Saturn Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. You can fit more than 760 Earth-shaped objects inside Saturn. The planet is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium gas, two of the lightest elements in the universe. Saturn is the least dense of all planets, only about 70% as dense as water. Uranus Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, rotates at a nearly 90 degree angle from the plane of its orbit. This unique tilt makes Uranus appear to spin on its side. The first planet found with the aid of a telescope, Uranus was discovered in 1781 by astronomer William Herschel, although he originally thought it was either a comet or a star. Neptune Neptune, the eighth and the most distant major planet orbiting our sun, is dark, cold and whipped by supersonic winds. It was the first planet located through mathematical calculations rather than by telescope. Dark, cold and whipped with supersonic winds, Einstein Neptune is the eighth and most distant planet in our solar system. Okay guys, now it's time for another set of know-it-all facts on gas giant planets. Jupiter. Jupiter is mostly made up of gas. Saturn. Saturn is so enormous but so light that it can float on water. Interesting. Oh, and one more thing. There is this website I came through when I was preparing for this video. It is a live relay by NASA. The exciting thing in this website is that it gives us a live footage that tells us the position of all the planets, spacecrafts, comets and meteors and etc in 3D. I have given the link to this website in the description box below. You can check it out later. Also remember that if you have any doubts regarding the topic I discuss, you can always type it down in the comment section below. I will show you guys about each planet in brief using the website at the end of the video. Okay, now let's continue with dwarf planets. Okay, but where did Pluto disappear? And the answer is, it became a dwarf planet. Dwarf planets. When Clyde Tombaugh, an American astronomer, discovered Pluto in 1930, it was considered as the ninth planet in the solar system. In 2006, scientists reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet. These are bodies that are basically round in shape, orbit the sun, but are not big enough to sweep all other material out of the path. Okay guys, so this is the page you can see normally when you open the website and you can see all this home planet and things so now if you go to the solar system you can see you can click on solar system and you can see the page you can see it's loading 
and you can see this when you come and this is the view uh, this is the live view which I was talking about so these are the controls and I'm telling you the controls now if you left dra left mouse drag you can drag it in this way and for zooming in and zooming out you use the middle mouse scroll and now uh, let me tell you about some of these uh, planets here and so now you can uh, now what you can do is you can go to search and type on a planet like Mercury and you can see this option here when you type it half and and then you travel to Mercury so now you can see all this like you can see the Sun you can see the sun pointed towards there, so the light shedding here and it's the baking hot in this side and freezing cold on the other side as I told you. And you can see all the descriptions and 88 Earth days is the length of one year and the uh, other things. So like that you can go to any, any planet you want. Now if you go to back to our solar system, uh, you type Mars so you can see Mars in here the best option and you go and you travel to Mars now and in Mars we, I told you that we can see all these robot inhabited Mars so we can see all these insights landing sites and the, the orbiters over here so let's click on any one. So let's click on the stray gas orbiter over here. And now we are in the stray gas orbiter's description box. So now if you go to spacecraft view, um, Okay, so now you have the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. So its primary mission was this primary mission. It's still you doing its primary mission, and its target is Mars, and its launch date and type of orbiter. And now you can see it trace. It was made to trace all the kinds of gases in Mars and the atmosphere. So this is a very useful site I'm telling you now if you go back to the Martian system you can see this kind of view here and now let's go back to our solar system and now we can see solar system and inner solar system so if we click on inner solar system you go a little further inside so now you have all this so now you have all these options here like the Parker Solar Probe, you just click it, it's a satellite probe. So if you go into this, it, it has the description, status, in route to the sun, and the type of orbiter it is. So this is the description, and and like you can, you have many options here with launched by NASA, and you have the sun, if you click there, you can get something. I guess you can do it for yourselves. Okay. So I hope you, uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video and the website I was talking about. You can go, you can go to your Chrome or anything you have and search, search in there. Believe me, it's really useful, and you can learn a lot of things. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Question. How does NASA organize a party? Answer. They plan it. Get it? Plan it. Ha. Huh? Okay guys. That's the end for today's session. I hope you liked it. And make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel, The Brain Poppers. Goodbye.